we live in the world of sounds. I can hear a barking dog, a buzzing bee, rustling leaves, humming wires. I can hear the sounds of hammering and power saw screeching, car and plane roaring, water gurgling and wind howling. But what do all these different sounds have in common? What is sound as such? The first person who gave this a thought was a famous Greek philosopher and scholar, Pythagoras. This is how he answered the question. Any sound is a collision. Here is a harp string. It vibrates and collides with the air. The air around the string is compressed and exhausted in turns, and the sound propagates in all directions, reaching our ears. If the collision is strong, the sound will be loud. If it is weak, the sound will be quiet. Even when we don't see any vibrations or collisions, they still take place. We just have to guess how they happen. We attach a steel ruler to a table, pull its end and let it go. The ruler's end vibrates and collides with the air. The collisions cause the sound to emerge and it reaches our ears. To play back sounds, people commonly use loudspeakers. Let's run alternating electric current through the loudspeaker at the frequency of 300 Hz. The current causes the membrane to make 300 vibrations per second and collide with the air, compressing and exhausting it in turns. To make the movement of the membrane visible, we put a plastic chip on it. See how it's bobbing up and down? An oscillation generator works using alternating current, just as a loudspeaker. The disc we have attached to it will perform the function of a membrane. We switch on the generator at the frequency of 100 Hz. Then we lower it to 90 Hz, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40 Hz. We can plainly see the vibrations of the membrane. Now listen to a mosquito whining. Do you think it makes the sound with the help of a special squeaker? Nothing of the kind. A mosquito flaps its wings really quickly. The wings hit the air and create sound. Let's find out how many wing beats per second does a mosquito make. We run a sound of particular frequency created by the generator through the loudspeaker. We start at 400 Hz. That's not what we need. 500, 600, 700 Hertz. Now the sounds are practically identical. Let's listen to them in turns. This is the mosquito sound and that is the loudspeaker sound. Now the two sounds together. We have found out that a mosquito flaps its wings 700 times per second. Human vocal apparatus is very complicated. This is the reason why we can make a great variety of sounds. Oral and nasal cavity, as well as the tongue, teeth and lips, take part in producing the sounds. But the most important human speech organ is vocal cords, situated in the larynx. It is with their help that we produce most sounds and sing. Vocal cords are specific muscles. When the air from the lungs passes between the vocal cords through the glottis, it makes the cords vibrate. Changing the tension of the cords would change the pitch of the sound. We have made a vocal cords model, having pulled two rubber bands with a narrow slot between them over a tube. The inflated balloon will play the role of lungs. We remove the peg and the cords start making the sound. How does a whistle work? It has no membranes or rubber bands that could vibrate. So where does colliding with air, which creates the sound, come from? A whistle consists of three parts, a slot, a wedge and the inner cavity, 
or resonant chamber. An airflow rushes through the slot and heats the wedge. The air inside the inner cavity works like a spring. It is compressed and expanded in turns. Because of these vibrations, the airflow passes on one and then the other side of the wedge, building up the air vibration in the resonant chamber.